Yes, we are fighting for house injustice and Arthur Solomon is the person we are here targeting because he has the power to make a difference. He has the power to do what's right. He has the power to have his people sit down with us to, uh, to negotiate a fair contract with the Fair Home Tenant Association. We will not negotiate individually. We will not negotiate on the side quietly. We want to negotiate as a team, as a tenant association. So please stop calling Miss Betty because she will continue to say no. She's not interested in individual negotiation. She's interested in a collective bargaining. A collective contract. We have um, Belinda here with us from the colonization what island right at brown at brown so um, uh, so we want to give her an opportunity to uh share her thoughts with us hi my name is melinda um i'm here with other members of the colonization at brown we're undergraduates at brown um with this group of students who came together to collectively reckon with how colonialism shapes all the dimensions of our experiences at this university as students, as well as how that's inseparable from so many broader interlocking systems of historical and present injustice. The experiences of the Theralon tenants is a clear example of how seemingly discrete institutions are bound together by great concentrations of power and wealth, and by the unfair conditions that these institutions impose on people who have less power within these structures. From the inadequate living conditions and rent hikes that the speakers so far have mentioned under the DSF group, to the underpayment of Brown and Trinity Rep's MFA playwriting students, who are getting paid over just $3,300 for this summer, these injustices are all connected, and our responses to them should be too. Yeah. The displacement that has been mentioned here of the black and brown communities in the Fairlawn Tenants Association is also inseparable from a longer history of Brown University's foundational displacement of Narragansett people from the ancestral land, the enslaved labor that was used to build this university, and the continuing gentrification that this university plays a role in in Providence and the broader area. Arthur P. Solomon is just one of many products and producers of Brown's corporate networks of power. He went through Brown as a Brown alumni and is now continuing to maintain and build out Brown's profit-driven infrastructure as a trustee at the Brown Trinity Theater. And it is this prioritization of profit over people that is also clearly guiding the, de the decisions of the DSF group in allowing these conditions to continue for the Fairlawn tenants as well as refusing to meet with them collectively. Neither Arthur Solomon, nor Brown, nor the DSF group are exceptional as figures of capital and exploitation. But they are important points among many that we need to keep applying pressure to as we keep working toward the victories and transformations that will keep us alive. We stand in solidarity with the Fairlawn Tenants Association. Thank you. So important. We, we want a fair contract now.